This is the most essential part of my whole life. I'm Megan Rapino, and these are my essentials. I just love sunglasses so much. It's just like this fun accessory that you can wear all the time. You know, if it's really dark, you don't want to be like that person that's wearing like sunglasses everywhere. So you get like the lighter, you can wear these in the airport. I feel like it's almost like a little like safety cape as well. I just like put them on and feel a little better. You kind of dress to your mood, you like get a little wild with it. Um, these kind of like reminded me of the old sort of like Celine's or like Kurt Cobain, how you used to wear those like white ones. Speaking of Celine, classic style. If I need to like be serious but have a little attitude as well. Bop. How many pairs do you think you own total? 20 pairs. The next one, the most essential part, uh, my feet, obviously they're very important, so it's my shoes. These two right here are like every day's for sure. The Sakai waffles, I mean, just dope as shoe. Like, I love them so much. Obviously, I'm a Nike athlete, so I get to hook up a little bit. I think because I won the World Cup, they gave them to me a little bit early, so I was stunting on everybody early. And then classic loafer, a little Celine loafer. These, again, are sort of every days with everything. I feel like you could wear these with a sweatsuit if you really, really wanted to, but suits and jeans and whatever, and it's just kind of like a nice shoe you can slip on all the time. Everybody should have like a classic pair. aquifer essential this is like the best chapstick um, and I use it as like lotion as well my hands I fly so much I feel like I'm just dry all the time I use it on my cuticles and this is like in the front of my backpack all the time this is the jam right here Bop. perfect <laughs> got it okay CBD by my twin sister's company she's big boss lady CEO so this is 100% isolate hemp derived, so it's not even from a marijuana plant, it's from a hemp plant, and it's like stripped of everything that you could be tested for. So there's certain periods of time where we're in competition versus out of competition, but um, the ban is two years, so I ain't trying to take no risks, so I, I stick with my trusted brand. This is my jam on flights especially, and then when I get into a city to like calm down and be able to sleep through the night, CBD. Always. Tech pack. Tech pack. Clearly I'm plugged in. I'm not one of those people that are like, I'm getting off of my electronics. I just like, there's no way that I can. So there's like a number of things I just need all the time. Phone, obviously this is like connection to everything, everybody, um, friends, family, business, Instagram, obviously. iPad so I can like do all my like news and books. I've been starting to like actually write my notes down. It like helps me remember it a lot more. Computer, obviously, um, because you gotta like open contracts and you know your Word document that you have to open. It doesn't nothing opens on the iPad, so gotta get this. Um, it's just a little bigger, and then pods always. I wear my pods 85% of the minutes that I'm traveling, like in the airport, on the plane, everywhere. Um, I love them so much. They're so comfortable. You just bop them in and they're not like, I don't like the big ones. Those are like too much, but I also like don't like to not hear anything. I just like to pretend that I'm not hearing anything <laughs> so you can't actually hear. Like a lot of times I just have them in without anything on. And then when people like are all in your business, you can just be like, what? I couldn't hear you because I have my headphones in. The best leather jacket that I've ever found. This is a, an acne one. I spent years trying to find like the best leather jacket. They're kind of hard to find, like just cropped enough, with like enough room, you could put a hoodie on under it. It's essential. This is just like a good sort of catch-all if you need to like dress it up a little bit. You can like wear this again with sweats. I wear it all the time. I hope that this lasts me forever. Like, do these have a lifetime warranty? They really should. Potions and lotions bag. This is probably the most essential thing, besides my sunglasses. And of course my perfume. Santel 33 Le Labo. There's just like nothing better. It's the best, it's like not really a perfume. It's like almost like a 
house spray or like you're in the woods or something, but I love this. These are my face products. So it goes in this order. You go toner, which you get the, like this little pad out of the shower. Toner, this one goes at the end. So this is just like a anti-aging serum. This is colostrum serum. This is amazing, it's really good for your face. It's got like a lot of nutrients. Uh, again, like an anti-aging. This is uh, the cream, it's really light. I don't like anything like too heavy or I start to break out. It actually smells so bad. There's like no fragrance in it whatsoever. Yeah, it stinks so bad. It's like almost like a, like a miso chocolate yeast. It's bad. It's like, yeah, when I first started using it, my girlfriend Sue was like, what is this? Like now I gotta deal with this every day. Boom. And then uh, an eye cream. I just started using an eye cream. I don't know, everyone says you need to use them. So this is my suite of face products. I swear by them. Jewelry box. It's a little lighter right now because I have stuff on. Signet ring. I just got this new watch. This is my gift to myself after winning the World Cup. Uh, Rolex, Day Day, all gold. Just love it. It's like kind of flashy, but it's also like a good sort of everyday. So this goes in there, this goes in there. I always have like some, all kinds of rings on, necklaces. Like even like when I was a kid, it would be like rubber bands or bracelets, friendship bracelets or whatever. So there's all kinds of like stuff in here. These, more rings, other necklaces, bracelets. I keep this with me all the time and it just has like a special little corner in my backpack, so my jewelry box. Okay, vintage tees. They're just like the best t-shirt. They're soft, um, they always have like good colors and stuff, so it's kind of like the outfit in itself. They go with everything, you wear it under a suit, wear it under a leather jacket, wear it with whatever. I got this in Santa Barbara. Um, so I just feel like anywhere you find like a decent one, you gotta like hold on for dear life. But these are always with me every day. I'm new to the hat game. I actually don't look very good in hats. I look like a 12 year old boy. But recently, and probably because of the, <laughs> the World Cup and the pink hair, I'm finding that hats are like actually an absolute essential for going through the airports. Still peeks out on the bottom a little bit, but this is one of my favorite ones. This is the East Day Miyake. It's kind of like funky and weird. Um, and it has like this like sandlot build. It's like so big. So this is actually the first hat that I got since the pink hair. I'm like, this is just weird and it doesn't even look like a normal hat, but I get into this one. And then the Supreme one, which has like a secret naughty in the front. It says F you in the front in the same color as the hat. I always wear it a little bit low and She's kind of comfortable too, like with short hair, people are always like, oh, it's so easy with short hair, and it's actually not. You either have to wear a hat or do it every day. So for these early morning flights, it's like hat, hoodie, pods, glasses. I don't do a mask, but maybe I should. Yeah, so hats are becoming essential. 